The Walt Disney Company. They are a billion dollar company with a hand in many multi-million dollar businesses in different markets. Their properties range from theme parks, cruise lines, sports broadcasting, and of course movies among countless other ventures. They've taken on Pixar Animation, Marvel, and Lucasfilm. The company wasn't always a huge monopoly though. At times, they struggled to stay afloat. The company was founded in 1923 by Walt Disney and his brother Roy making Alice comedies an innovative process that combined real-life actors with cartoons. It wasn't until 1937 that the Walt Disney Company made it big with their first feature film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Even after that, they struggled. Many films like Pinocchio and Fantasia didn't perform well in the box office, and by the time the Second World War was beginning abroad, the company was struggling. The Walt Disney Company was heavily involved in World War II. They didn't just create propaganda, they also provided training films, entertainment shorts, and military insignia for the Allies. In this video, even though I would like to cover it all, I will be talking about the propaganda that the Walt Disney Company created as an aid to the Allies. Before we get into the nitty gritty, let's start by defining propaganda. Propaganda has a negative connotation, but in reality, it's simply information used to promote or publicize a particular political cause or point of view. It wasn't seen as a negative thing in the United States until World War I. While Hitler and the Nazi regime used propaganda as a way to deceive, Allied propaganda claims that they were just holding up a mirror to the enemy and reciting his resume in an exaggerated manner. Propaganda wasn't all about making fun of the enemy either. It was used to stir up patriotism and the will to contribute. We'll see that in some examples shortly. When it came to Walt Disney and his involvement in the war, the book Disney During World War II by John Baxter claims that Disney himself was not in it for the profit. He genuinely cared about his country and wanted to see it succeed. He had loved his country his whole life. He drove an ambulance as a boy of 16 in the First World War and later in his life celebrated America in the Disney parks with the creation of Main Street USA, great moments with Mr. Lincoln, and the Hall of Presidents. When the Second World War broke out, he simply wanted to break even financially so that he could pay his animators and keep his studio afloat. Disney's first involvement in propaganda, however, began in the spring of 1941, which was months before the United States declared war on the Axis powers. Tensions were growing in Europe, and Canada had already been involved since the beginning of the war. Walt Disney created campaigns using recycled footage of the Three Little Pigs and Snow White to encourage Canadian citizens to buy war savings certificates. The thrifty pig showed the pigs defeating the Nazis with war savings bricks. The Seven Wise Dwarves shows the Seven Dwarves exchanging their diamonds for war savings certificates. Gets chanting. I hope, I hope, we all will help you know, we'll win the war, we'll fight for war. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. The first piece that the Walt Disney Company created for the United States was The New Spirit. It featured Donald Duck and was a film to encourage U.S. citizens to return their taxes on time and coin the slogan, Taxes to Beat the Axes. Oh God, taxes to beat the axes! Donald Duck was incredibly popular in entertainment shorts in World War II. So popular even, that on his 50th birthday, he was promoted to a sergeant and given an honorary discharge from the military. He also starred in propaganda film Der Führer's Face, which we'll get into soon. Along with encouraging monetary support, the propaganda that Disney made for the United States war effort included Food Will Win the War and Out of the Frying Pan. Food Will Win the War was an ode to the American farmer and the work they do to supply American troops with food. The film highlighted statistics about American farming, all while getting a little nudge in at Germany. Corn, 2,850,000,000 million bushels. If all of this were grown into one huge ear, it would make a bridge from London to the Black Sea. And that hangs right over your head, Adolf. Out of the Frying Pan starred Minnie Mouse and Pluto and encouraged American housewives to collect greasy fats from the kitchen to help create glycerin, an essential ingredient for making explosives. People could trade their fats for money. In the cartoon, Pluto decides to bring home sausage instead. While I mentioned earlier that propaganda is used to stir up patriotism and the will to contribute, as well as to hold up a mirror to the enemy, sometimes this could be taken too far to today's standards. Earlier I mentioned Donald Duck's film Der Führer's Face. That, along with Education for Death, are the most remembered pieces of propaganda created by Walt Disney. While they did highlight the faults of the enemy, these two films portray German people with xenophobic imagery that focuses on their stereotypic mannerisms, actions, and looks. Let's take a look at Der Führer's Face. It was originally supposed to be titled Donald Duck and Naziland before the catchy song became the film's title. And the says, he is the master race. 
the right in the fool's face. The film follows Donald Duck as he goes about his awful day in Nazi land, barely having enough food to eat, working countless hours, and constantly hiling Hitler and his incredibly exaggerated allies, who, not to mention, also were drawn to their stereotypes. To Donald's luck, his existence was just a horrible nightmare, with the cartoon ending as Donald Duck says this. Der Führer's Face ended up winning the Academy Award for Best Animated Short Film in 1943. Education for Death is a chilling film about the life of a German citizen from birth to death. He's faced with oppression, brainwashing, and eventually becomes the terrifying and heartless soldier that Germany wants him to be. Rather, what the United States wants its citizens to believe what Germany wants its soldiers to be. The film also shows a German version of the tale, The Sleeping Beauty, where democracy is the witch, the knight in shining armor is Hitler, which Germany has actually used in their own propaganda, and the beauty, or not so beauty, is Germany. Fat, drunk, and oh so in love with her knight. <laughs> <laughs> the examples of propaganda I highlighted in this video is only a snippet of the work that Walt Disney and his company created during World War II. What do you think about the Walt Disney Company's involvement in World War II? Did it help the Allied victory or was it an unnecessary business exploit for the company? Comment down below or tweet us at Boardwalk Times. Subscribe for more Disney content from Boardwalk Times, the destination for true Disney Parks fans plus everything else.